Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One in my old barn door, and we are doing a craft with me. We're playing in our ring binder, so we're gonna keep moving forward and decorate this little beauty and play and have some fun. Hopefully, I don't have it. Um, trying to make sure that I don't have the camera zoomed in too much okay so let's just flip through and see where we are with this baby okay um i think i'm gonna start filling in the pockets with um goodies and just kind of i think i'm just gonna go from page to page and and decide if i want something on the page or um like i love the way that turned out so Let's just go ahead and put some goodies in the pockets. Let's see. I have... Um, I don't think that one's going to be big enough. For this, I want some tags. Some kind of tags in the pocket. Let's see what we have. Okay. I also have goodies. Like, I have... Mm, excuse me. I have these really vintage photos, and they're actually in photo sleeves, and I like leaving them in the photo sleeves. So, let's put one of those in there. And then I have these, um, I don't really know where these came from. Um, I mean, I know my sweet friend Linda gave them to me, and, and all of that good stuff that she gave me. Um, Oh, look at her with her little dog. Let's use her. She's super cute. Let's put her in there. Oh, and he dapper. Okay. So, now I want a tag of some kind. So, let's... Woo! I'm going to have to turn my fan towards me. Okay. I have some tags in here somewhere. Okay, here's my bag of tags. Y'all should see my room right now. It is ridiculous. I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, so let's pull out our tags and see what we want to put. So we have the barn here. So I think it would be super cute to put a pig. But let's see what else we have. Ooh, I like these. Ooh, I like these a lot. I forgot about how... Ooh, I like this one too. Hmm, let's do this one. Okay, so let's round the corner. Oops. And see, it's got that, um, this is what I did, um, I collaged onto a paper bag. And so you can write on this, so you don't even have to do anything to the back. Now let's find us a pretty little topper. What do we have to top it with? Let's see. Ooh, I know. Okay. I have this fabric here. I hope y'all are not seeing my hair because it's a train wreck. <laughs> it's messy, messy hair. Okay, let's see. I want to pull a strip off of this. I love this stuff. It is um, very old ticking and I only have that really small piece but it is gorgeous okay so we're gonna pull actually before we start pulling let's just go ahead and get us a piece off okay and now we can kind of pull some of these there we go And then you know I think I want to sew that on I think I will I'm gonna pause you and go to the sewing, ma sewing machine and stitch this on hang on okay so I wanted to just kind of do a really messy stitch around it so it's got the um, uh, the little stitching around it so we'll put him in behind there and I think I want, ooh, I know what I want. Let's put, I've got some of these milk top bottles. Let's, let's use one of these. 
let's see I have little ones and then a little bit bigger size Ooh, that one looks really good on there I think that one's the one I probably should use oh I also like this one let me see no I like that one okay quick and easy decision all right so I think I'm gonna put that on with um, hot glue I might have to you know what before I do that I want something underneath it so let's get some eyelash trim just a little if y'all want an easy way to keep your eyelash trims to where you can get to them easy you can do them like this I stick them in a bottle or a jar and then I can just pull it out so there's an idea just one idea okay so let's get our eyelash trim put us a little glue there let me grab my skewer or I don't know these are um, what do they call these chopsticks chopsticks help you burn not burn your fingers <laughs> okay and then whoops we're gonna put a little glue on this one sorry guys I'm still trying to get better from the migraine syndrome it has just been relentless this time I don't know what the problem is but I'm annoyed with it now I've had enough <laughs> I'm ready to feel better so if, if, I sh if I'm shaky or I don't talk correctly I apologize it is what it is and um, not a whole lot I can do about it at this point except just pray <laughs> Ready to feel better okay so we have that tag I love how that turned out super cute okay well we can get rid of the chopstick now all right and then we'll just pull that out okay I love it and it looks great with the barn with the um, the milk bottle top all right so here we go this is our I love this page and then uh, we did this page. Um, yeah, I like the way that turned out. I forgot about it. I spent a minute since I've looked at this uh, journal. So, okay, so on these, I kind of like to leave them, but maybe we should put a little sticker down here. Let me find my stickers. Let's see what we have. I love using stickers. Ooh, and look, here's a, a mason jar one. Let's do a mason jar one. I like this green one. Isn't that pretty? I love it. They look like glass. All right, so maybe we can put him over here just to give it a little something on the page. Okay. Put this back in here. Move it out of the way. This is genuinely how I craft. I just go through page by page and go, okay, what do I want on this page? Like on this one, um, since it's blank and there's no original writing like there is on this side, I don't mind, you know, putting something on here. So I want to put, I have a cluster. Let's put a pretty cluster on here. I like that. Alright, where is my glue? And I'll just put a little bit of glue. Ooh, that one glooped out. A little, little bit of glue across the top there. Let me put the lid back on it. Okay. And then we can put this. I don't want to put it where the holes are because then my glue is going to go through the hole. So we'll just come down right below that. There we go. That's pretty. And then you can use this as a tuck um, to tuck something in. Let's see if we have something we can tuck in there. Like I have this cute um, journaling card. So we can ink the edges of it. slide that right up in there I like that okay 
Now, we need to put something in this pocket, and I think I would like to give whoever gets this journal, maybe they'd like some fabric, some little fabric pieces. So, I have this little bag of fabrics, and there's some really cute fabrics in here. So, let's just go through and find some pretty stuff to add into our little pocket. Okay. Oh, I love this with the blue stripe. And we'll do a piece of this. This is like an old, um, I think it was upholstery, but it's you can you can put it on either side. So we'll give a piece of that and a couple of pieces in this gorgeous. I love with this small um, um, calico type flowers. And there's some sunflowers. There's some pretty blue. We'll put that in there. And, oh, here's some pretty browns. Oh, I love this. That looks country. Looks like a farm. Okay, so let's let's do that. Put a little piece of this. This is like, a, like an old building. Put a piece of that in there. And a little piece of lace. Um, oh, this is super cool. There's a name for this, and I can't remember what it's called. And then this pretty peachy colored one. And we'll do one of those. A piece of lace. Ooh, that one's super cool with the brown and yellow paisleys. Very old fabric. Okay. All right. Let's stop before we get too too much. Because I will just fill this thing to the brim. <laughs> with all these gorgeous fabrics. Okay, so... I think I would like a pretty little envelope to put these in, to put them down in the pocket so that they don't kind of get lost down there. Hang on and let me, let me grab an envelope. Okay, so we have a pretty envelope here. So let's, um, this is just a Hallmark envelope. And my first instinct is to decorate the envelope. But whoever gets the journal might want to decorate the envelope. So I'm going to leave it plain, even though... That's a hard thing for me to do. <laughs> so we're just going to tuck our little envelope of fabrics down in our pocket there. I'm going to leave it hanging out just a little bit so whoever gets it knows that this is a pocket and there's something in there for them. All right, so we keep going. I love how this page turned out. I love how the coffee dyed sales receipts turned out. Um, let's see, we finished that one. Uh-oh. We're stuck together just a little bit right there. Okay, let's go ahead and take our little wax paper out and find something cute to put in this little pocket. I have this cute little um, journaling card. I just need to trim that up a little. Okay, and then we'll ink the edges. extra something on the edges. This will add some good color and I love the with the red tab with the blue and the white. There we go. We'll put that one in there and let's do another cute one in there. I don't know though. I don't want to cover up the cow. I think we're good just to leave that in there like that because I have a tendency to overfill and then I go crazy with it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, we've gotten past these parts. I love, love, love this trim on the edge of this page. And then I love these pages. I love how these pages feel, too. Okay, let's see. Our Holly Hobby. Okay, let's find something to put in here. I had something that I wanted to put. I have um, a shaker card that I made with, um, this was from an old quilt book. And I cut out all of the pretty pictures of the quilts. And so we'll put that in there like that. Super cute. And you know, I, at first I was thinking maybe the, the colors clash, but I think it looks good like that. So we're going to leave it. All right. And then on this page, we need something on this page because it's just, I'm not real thrilled with this page. So let me, ooh, I know what I want. I have some fabric flips. I've got a couple of fabric flips here that my sweet friend Sarah sent to me. Um, 
Let's do this one since it's not so yellow. Ooh, that'll be pretty there, won't it? I think so. Yep, I like that. Okay, and I think since this is a harder um, paper, let's do um, hot glue to attach it. this gorgeous very pretty and I love it on the sewn on the the page that has the sewn edges okay that is so pretty I love that all right and then I think I want to put something on the lace okay I have these beautiful rusted paper clips and safety pins that my sweet friend Rhonda so generously shared with me and I think I would like to use this on here and I think I want to add something like a pretty bead or something and so again it's hard with the safety pins to get your beads on but it's also even harder with the rusted ones so I'm going to show you a little bit of a solution for that so hang on and let me grab this stuff okay squirrel I actually changed my mind <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so I have these two little tubs here. And in the first one, I saw the first one and I thought, hmm, I might can use one of those because here are, these are just some journal jewelry that I've made um, that I, I, I'll sit sometimes in the evenings and I'll make up, you know, some journal jewelry if, um, you know, if I'm sitting in front of the TV watching TV or whatever. And so I made a bunch and I also have a few left over. My sweet friend Sarah sent me a whole bunch, but I've used most of hers, but I do still have a few pieces left of hers. So anyways, I thought, wouldn't that be cute to put something like this on it? And then I remembered that I made these a while back and they're just gorgeous. And I got the idea from, well, I've, I used to make these a long time ago and I never really knew what to do with them. Um, but my sweet friend Linda gave me these really long pins. Aren't those cool? I love them. And a lot of them have the little, um, like the little earring back piece to um, put on there. And so I was like, oh, those are so cool. And so I made a bunch more. She had a few that she had made and then I made a bunch more. So let's find, like, ooh, isn't that one pretty? That would be so pretty up against that. So let's see if we can figure out how to put this on here. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna put the lid back on that because I don't want to get poked. I'm thinking I might put the safety pin on here and pick one of these pretties um, to dangle off the safety pin. That one's pretty. I like that one. Okay, we'll use that one. Yeah. Alright. So, let me get a junk ring. I think I actually have one over here. I just need my pliers. So what we can do, well, the first thing we need to do is figure out where we want to add our pin. So I think if we just kind of weave our pin through here, so if we go this way, and then weave it back through the fabric, Okay, and then I'm going to just push it all the way down to where it stops like that. Oh, that's really pretty. And then I have some little earring back pieces, I think, somewhere over here. Yeah, that I can put on the bottom so that it doesn't poke you. I like that. I think I'm loving that. Okay, so let's just put this little piece on here. Oops. What I might do, because this piece is just kind of like that silicone plastic, so I think I might put the metal one down here at the bottom to make sure it's good and protected, and the silicone piece can go right here so that it um, holds the beads on. So let me just rearrange this maybe there we go okay so we're gonna sit that right there 
And then we're going to put this one through. Maybe. There we go. All right, and we're going to pull this one all the way up so that it holds our beads on. Okay, now let's weave it back through. And I wonder, you know what? I'm, I think I just want to weave it through the lace, and that way you can still flip it without having to take your... Yeah, let's do that. Or maybe should we do it up here? No, that's too much with that big button. Isn't that button beautiful? Okay. Squirrel. Okay. Push this through. Sometimes it's hard to push it through the lace. All right, I think I'm going to weave it through the, the lace a couple of times just to make sure it's it's got a good hold in there. Okay, and maybe I'll take it down through the bottom and that way it's not such a distraction. Okay, and then we'll put our metal piece on the bottom so that whoever gets the journal doesn't get poked. Okay. I thought I was doing something wrong. I'm scooching up the top. Okay, here we go. Let's redo this. Okay. Let me just hold it like that. There we go. Okay. Alright. I just want to be sure that the the pointy part's not poking out, and it's poking out just a little. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's pretty. And then if we put this... Okay, where's my jump ring? I had a jump ring over here somewhere. Let me see. Whoops. Let me see. I know it's on this plate. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to open up my jump ring. this on to my safety pin. Okay. And I'm just going to close that back up and make sure that it's got a good connection so that it doesn't come off. Okay. There we go. Alright, and then we can put our safety pin I think I'm going to run it right through here. Here we go. I like it. I like that. I think that's going to be pretty. Okay. So there's an idea of some things you can do with your stick pins if you make stick pins. Let me just put my tools back up. Because if I get too much on my desk, Lord of mercy, I don't know what to do with it all. Okay. So now we've got that page finished, and look how pretty that is. Isn't that cute with the little dangle on there? And you can put as many dangles on there as you want to. All right, I love, love this page. Okay, we need something to tuck down in here. So let's find something cute. What do we have? Okay. I have some of my um, journaling cards from, this is from the Autumn Farms journal kit, and I think I want to do the one with the cow on it. Let's put one of these in here. Now, y'all, I'm just crafting, and I'm just going to let the video play, and when it shuts off, it can play another video, and we're just going to craft for as long as we can today. And then I'll separate the videos, and there'll there'll be um, I'll upload them, you know, once a day or whatever. So, but I'm hoping to try and finish these journals today, so that y'all can get them, because I know I've got people waiting on them. Okay. All right. I meant to order some scissors. And I forgot to, and I've got to get in touch with Tonic, um, the Tim Holtz company that makes those scissors, because I think, I think mine can be replaced because they're messed up, so I'm going to try it anyways, and if not, I'll just buy another pair. I don't know if I'll buy another pair, well, I 
will buy another pair of the Tim Holtz. And the reason I will is because um, I was a dork and used, um, I used them on fabric and didn't realize I wasn't supposed to. So that was my fault. All right, let's see what we've got in our little pile here. <laughs> Y'all see my little pile of journaling cards and goodies? Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let's see what else we want to put in here. That would be a cute little pocket. I love this cow print. Now, that would be a cute little pocket to stick in there. Maybe with um, a little... Let's see. Oh, I love Grandma sitting on the porch with her dogs. Look, she's shelling peas. Bet you money that's what she's doing. Let's do that one in there. Okay, let me just put a little ink around it. Okay. Super cute. And I think I want to add a little bit of something else to this cute little pocket. So, um, I want something little, and I have some tickets here, I think. Let's see, where are my tickets? Goodness. Okay, I have some little pieces too here that I might can use. I don't know. Let me find my tickets first and see. I think I have everything in my um like I was finally able to go through last week and separate out everything into like farm style ephemera and floral ephemera and things like that and I think I have every bit of my farm style ephemera sitting on my desk and in the floor around me <laughs> I literally have a train wreck of a mess here okay let's see these are some sweet little pieces that my friend Debbie sent me and then I have some little cards back here there's our paper quit we might use that in this journal what else do we have cute little pockets all right, there was something. Oh, I was looking for tickets. Where did I put the tickets? Y'all. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> okay, here's the tickets. Oh, let's put some red tickets to give it a little color there. Let's do that. So I have these. Ooh, and I like the way that they're kind of... I don't think that they're broken I don't know but I like the way that that looks okay so we can put some red in there and then let's do one of these with the um, the little ice coupons we'll put one of those in there and then I still wanted to put a little ticket in here and let's do one of these these are those little cigarette coupon tickets these are cool but we don't want to cover up grandma's face so let's pull her out a little. There we go. All right. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I like the way that turned out. Oh my goodness. All right, and then what do we, I don't think we really need to do anything over here. I'd like to just kind of leave this for whoever gets the journal because you have this. So let's just keep moving. All right, we need something for this pocket. I don't know exactly what I want. This might be too much red. You think that's too much red? Maybe. I think so. Let's put Flossy Fish in here because she's just too stinking cute. I mean, how cute is Flossy Fish? We're putting her in here. I love her. Okay. And then let's put this in here. We'll just ink the edges. Flossy fish. I want some color. I need a tag with some color. Where do I put my tags? I have little bags of goodies all over the place. I'm overrun with bags of goodies. Okay, here we go. That's, here's the tags. Maybe now is a good time for the piggy tag. I don't know though. I kind of like the cow 
towel tag. I like the denim up against that quilted part. And I think I'd like to put maybe a little something here. My sweet friend Rhonda sent me these gorgeous, gorgeous um, rosettes. Oh, now I'm losing them. That one would look cute. I've used a bunch of these. I lost them for a minute, and I couldn't find them, and I was in a panic. I was like, where did I put those? And I finally found them somewhere they should never have been in the first place. So, <laughs> isn't that how it normally goes? Okay, I think that'll be cute in there. So, let's just, whoops, add a little glue on there. And put that there. I like it. Okay. I love, love, love this quilted pocket. I just think it's so pretty. All right, and then we have our, um, oops, we glued our stuff together. No, I think it just kind of got tangled in the, in the lace there. I'm seeing things falling in front of my window. I guess it's the leaves falling. <laughs> okay, and so we have, uh oh, we stuck together a little bit over here. There we go. Okay. So we have our little envelope. I love this envelope. I love how old and dingy it is. And I don't want to put anything in it. A lot of times I like to leave the envelopes empty. Um, so that whoever gets the journal, they have plenty of room uh, for whatever they want to put in it. Okay, we need something in our little belly band here. So let's see what we have have some of these. Ooh, I have some old vintage recipes somewhere. I'm going to have to find them. I don't even know what's in here. Oh! Oh, I love this. I forgot I had these. Look, let's put him right here. That's pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. One of my sweet friends sent this to me, and I, I forgot these little cards were in there, and look, I love this. This is a beautiful this is a real milk bottle top. I have that one and that one. I've got a couple of real ones in there. Okay, here we go. This was what I was looking for. I have a handwritten recipe. I love it. Buttermint cookies. I don't know if I would like a buttermint cookie. Okay, so we're going to put that in there too. And we'll kind of... I don't know, let's see. I need to put it this way so you can kind of see both. Yeah, let's do that way. Okay, so, ooh, I'm going to have to use these. Um, I'm going to use these in my fall journal that I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to do a Halloween one after I finish these. Um, after I finish these, I'm going to take a break. I need to, I need some shutdown time. Um, but then, I know y'all say, well, you've been sick all week. You've had shutdown time, but that's not really shutdown time. <laughs> that's trying to survive time. Um. So anyways, I'm going to try, I had promised my daughter I would take her to the lake, and I didn't get to take her, so I told her I would do it again um, another time, and so I have to take her to the lake, because I promised, so. Alright, let's put something in this little pocket, just so whoever gets it knows that it's a pocket, and I like that with a little bit of color. Let's do that. We'll add some ink around the edges. I feel like I'm going 90 miles an hour, but I am um, struggling with the, the migraine syndrome today, so sometimes that happens. You know what? I think it would be cute to put a little piece of ribbon or something here. Let's do that. Um... Yeah, I think I have the perfect little piece. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece off of here. Okay, I know y'all are looking at me going, clean your stinking desk off. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and it is ridiculous. So I'm going to clear some stuff off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay, sorry. I'm such a dork. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut a piece of this. love the black and white. Okay, and then let's punch just a hole over here in the corner. And I'm just going to weave the ribbon through on one side of it. No, I actually think I'm going to do both sides.
we are going to finish this book, you guys. I know y'all are probably, if y'all are getting tired of these videos, tell me and I will move on along. Okay, there we go. Super cute. Isn't that cute with that black and white ribbon? Okay, I think we're going to end the video here since we're already at 35 minutes, so I didn't realize I had gone that long. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having fun. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.